What's up guys, and the time has arrived. It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus with Exynos 9820 processor up against the iPhone XS Max with the Apple A12 chip. This is one of the most awaited videos on the channel, so both phones are super premium and super powerful, but let's see who's going to edge out in this test. And also I want to remind you guys that I am doing a giveaway for the Galaxy S10, so if you want to enter, check the link down below in the description. Okay guys, so as always, we're going to start this test off by booting up both phones at the same time. Here we go. And you can see the Galaxy S10 logo comes up first. The iPhone logo took some time, but let's see who is going to be the fastest one. Galaxy moving to its Samsung logo. And let's see. Okay, so Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, faster iPhone, about two or three seconds late. All right, so both phones are in position. Again, this is the Exynos 9820 model with eight gigs of RAM versus the iPhone XS Max here, which comes with Apple A12 along with four gigs of RAM. But still, it is iOS. It has a lot of good optimization, so we'll see how it does in RAM management again. It has the latest iOS version installed. With that being said, let's open up some applications, starting off with the phone dialer. Here we go. And as you can see, that was a bit quicker on the Galaxy S10 Plus settings. And that's about the same on both phones. Really quick animations, fast uh, system-based app launch time. The Galaxy S10 Plus has faster app launch time as they have shown in the trailer. So I really want to see how it will go with the third-party application. So far, it does seem that this phone is more snappy than any of their releases before in terms of real life usage. Third party applications starting with the game called Subway Surfers. This is going to be interesting. And the S10, oh, whoa. Okay, that, damn, Samsung wasn't kidding about the app launch time. Man, that was really, really fast. And normally we see iPhone perform really good when it comes to game loading times, but, uh, you can see the Exynos 9820 just blazes through the app launching uh, with the first game that we opened. So we still have a lot left. So going to launch Cora on both phones. And that's a little bit quicker on the Galaxy S10 Plus Spotify. And again, a little bit quicker on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Moving on to Asphalt 9. This is a really popular big game. So let's see. This time the iPhone feels really quick. It's already on the loading page. And still, the Galaxy S10 Plus manages to be quicker. Okay, wow. Something is going on here. I mean, Samsung has really done something amazing here with the app launching time. They really do show their effect here. They're really performing good. So far, the Galaxy S10 Plus is going perfect. Uh, we're going to launch YouTube at the same time. Let's go. And uh, once again, the Galaxy S10 Plus is quicker with its uh, latest feed. Moving on to another game called uh, Smash Hit. And again, the Galaxy S10 Plus slightly faster there. Pin out. Once again, the S10 Plus quicker. Moving on to Instagram. And that is also slightly quicker on the Galaxy S10 Plus, the latest feed. Uh, let's check out some stories here. Who's gonna open it up quicker? So that's about the same on both phones. By the way, subscribe to PewDiePie. Let's do a bit of a scrolling test. As you can see, looks very smooth on both phones. No issues whatsoever. And let's see the Insta camera, okay. I think it's quicker on the iPhone, definitely. So you can see, yeah, the Galaxy take a, one second, just a split second to open the camera. So maybe with an update, it might be as quick as the iPhone. But uh, yeah, social media apps are really well optimized for the iPhone. So yeah, that's a quick difference there. Let's check out my profile. And that got loaded up almost at the same time on both phones so moving on to twitter and once again slightly faster on the s10 plus next up we've got photoshop express and that got loaded up real quick on the iphone let's see we've got an 8k image here on both phones 
uh, you can see that was a little bit quicker on the iPhone in terms of loading that up in the editor. So we're just going to apply some effects here. I'm turning vibrancy all the way to the max on both phones. And same thing with the clarity, adding it all the way to the max. And now we're going to export both of these two images at the same time in full 100%. So let's see if we just quickly press this at the same time. And as you can see, the iPhone is done while the Galaxy S10 Plus is done as well. So it took some time. The iPhone definitely faster there. That was actually pretty interesting. The Apple A12 still is a really, really powerful chipset. Uh, but overall, in the applications opening times, the S10 Plus was really, really snappy. And last but not the least, we have camera on both phones. So launching it at the same time. Here we go. And I think that was about the same on both phones. Uh, maybe the iPhone was slightly quicker. Again, you guys are the judge here. All right, next up is the browsing test. We've got the default browsers on both phones, Safari on the iPhone versus the latest version of the Samsung internet browser. Okay, so first website we have is wikipedia.org on both phones. And as you can see, that was really quick. I think the S10 Plus was just a tiny bit quicker here uh, by finishing the website. Uh, you can see scrolling looks really smooth on both phones. Same thing with zooming in and out. I can really feel the smoothness here. Uh, it is definitely matching the smoothness that you normally feel on an iPhone or iOS device. Something has really changed. It feels buttery smooth here. Samsung is definitely closing in the gap. So next up we have the WWE.com on both phones. Let's see. Okay, Galaxy S10 Plus is done, followed by the iPhone Dennis Max. Uh, so that is really fast performance. Again, just a little bit differences here and there. If we scroll down, looks really smooth on both phones. No issues whatsoever. Just gonna quickly play this video on both phones and see which one does it faster. And I think that is faster on the iPhone XS Max. Now it's time for the juicy part, which is the RAM management. This phone right here, the Galaxy S10 Plus 128 gigabyte model that I have has eight gigs of RAM. So uh, we'll see how the RAM management is here. So you can see phone dialer still in the memory settings and the iPhone showed a bit of a refresh there. Maybe that is a refresh again. I will leave that up to you guys. Subway surfers. And okay, so the iPhone is indeed refreshing the application here. So as you can see, it's loading the apps. I think 4GB of RAM is causing some of that refresh on the iPhone. The Spotify is also there. Well, here it is refreshed. We've got Asphalt 9 on both phones. Okay, so that got refreshed on both of these two devices. Again, uh, I did add this 8K image editing in this video test. So it does take some more RAM as well to complete. So both phones probably did the refresh uh, for that. It's very interesting that even with 8 gigs of RAM, we have one refresh on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Uh, let's go down to YouTube that is still there on both phones. So the iPhone is now finally showing us some signs of uh, the RAM management. Uh, Core is still there. And it's also, I think it's still here on the iPhone as well. Smash hit. It's kept in the memory by the S10 Plus. Same thing with the iPhone XS Max. Pin out. Still there. Instagram. Still there. Twitter, Photoshop Express, and we are back to the browser. So, wow, so only one refresh on the Galaxy S10 Plus compared to, I think, three or four refreshes on the iPhone XS Max, which proves that more RAM definitely brings better performance on the Android, and as you can see, it clearly performed better. Not only that, the Galaxy S10 Plus also annihilated the iPhone in terms of the app's opening speed, which is something that I never expected. I mean, pretty much all the games and applications, uh, except the uh, Photoshop Express app, that was a bit slow uh, on the S10 Plus, and also the editing export was a bit slow compared to the iPhone XS Max. But for the most part, the Galaxy S10 Plus took the crown. Again, you guys were the judge of this test. I want you guys uh, to comment below the winner and also uh, do subscribe to the channel for more speed test videos let me know which speed test you guys want to see and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out